Okay, so today I'm going to do a review on this wig, as you can see, and this wig is from RPG Show. Um, you guys know I reviewed for them uh, earlier, well, late last year, and I had reviewed the Khloe Kardashian inspired wig, which was cool, but remember I told you like it was a little dry at the end, it was a little thin, really didn't like it too much, um, but they sent me this one. And just an FYI, this wig did not come nearly close to this. Uh, this was not the style. This had... I'll go through everything. Um, but this is wig number P, PTS001-S. It is in a color jet black. Uh, the hair length was 20 inches. It was silky. It was a cap one. The cap construction was a glueless cap. Uh, the lace color was a light brown. Now, when I got it, um, they said it was 20 inches. I personally didn't think it was 20 inches. You know, you guys know, I'm, I know when something is a little off. And it, to me, it just seems like it just was not 20 inches. So, um, what I ended up doing was I decided that I was going to cut it. And cutting it would have allowed me to actually kind of see, uh, Try something different as far as like the length and all of that was concerned, but it also gave me the ability to um, just to get because it was thin at the end, like it was 20 inches, but it wasn't like a full 20 inches, it was just like 20 inches and it was like short, like I don't know. So, what I did was I tried to play around with it. They had it was supposed to be bangs, that's originally what it was. It was bangs, the bangs were probably like right here, they were pre cut, it was a layer that was pre cut, but that was it. So, what ended up happening was, I went and cut it and kept cutting and kept cutting. And before I knew it, I just didn't like the way the bangs... I, I look, The wig would look more like an emo wig at that particular point. So, I was like, I don't like this. So, just playing around with it, I turned the wig all the way around, backwards. And before I knew it, I just noticed because I had cut so much that it ended up doing this. So, I was like, hmm, maybe I should just make it into a bob. And just put it on backwards, since the back has lace too. I'm going to just use the lace from that and really change this negative into a positive, pretty much. So, what I did was I started cutting from in the back, because this is where the bangs would have been. And I just started cutting up and at an angle. And that's and I eventually started to get this. And when I started to get this, I was like, I really do like this. It reminds me of kind of Taraji P. Henson of... Uh, when she used to wear her hair like this. But before I did it though. I will say that it was full. Like the top of the wig is really really full. So um, what I had to do was. Because it was big. Like you know how Wendy Williams wears her bobs. And they just be like eight bundles of hair type big. It was like that. So what I had to do was. I had to take a hot comb. Pressing comb. Whatever you want to call it. And basically go through the entire thing. To make sure I got the bulk of it out. So that this wasn't be, wouldn't be as thick as this part. Because I like the fullness in here. I just didn't really too much care for it being all at the top. So after I did that. It started to lay down. Pulled it a little bit behind my hairline. Threw some um, edge control. Here in the front for my, my signature swoop. That I love oh so much. Um, and it looks like what I really did was I chopped my uh my you my other you part into a bob because this is the exact same style but except it's shorter and it has an angle on the bob but yeah i cut everything myself as you can see it's short back here and it's bumped so that it can have this nice bob effect um but i like it though i it's, it's not me i will say that it's not really me but it's something that is different and i did want to try something different so why not you know you have a wig you don't really like it it's not really the best but you want to try something different. This is actually like really perfect. So I really do like it. The hair texture is really soft. It's really nice. It gave me no issues with cutting. Um, I have to attribute a lot of the way that this looks to the hair. Because the hair is that nice. It's really, really nice. So I do like this um, a lot. And it's really soft. It moves. It has a lot of movement to it. Which always is a plus. Especially when you have short hair. If the short hair doesn't move, then... It's not, it's, it's not good. But this is some actually nice hair. It doesn't specify what type of hair it is. It just says hair is textured silky. So I don't really know what type of hair this would be. I don't know if this hair is processed. I'm not sure if it's virgin. I'm not really sure. I'm almost certain it's processed though because it's really straight. 
And um, most of the time, natural virgin hair does not come this straight. So, and have this much body to it initially straight out the package or however you get it. So, yeah, I cut it. Um, Because I posted a picture on Instagram and everybody was like, can you please do a video? But I was like, people don't know. Like, this is the same. Week. I didn't post any pictures of what it looked like when I first got it. But when you look up the number of, of the wig on the site, then you'll be able to pretty much tell... Um, what it looked like before. So it was just classic. The, the issue that I had when I first got it was that the way the bangs were cut was the issue. The pre-cut layer that they gave me was really low and really wide. So when I cut it, it started to give me this tooty bang appearance that I was not too fond of. So I ended up having to go with something a little bit different. But I do like this though, you guys. Like... It's not, like I said, it's not who I am. It's not me. You know, I like everything to go past my butt and longer. However, this is uh, a nice alternative. It's pretty, uh, it's soft. It's easy as hell to put on. The only thing that I don't like, and it has nothing to do with the company, is me. is because I did put it on backwards. The band from the back is right here. So, I wouldn't really wear this outside. Pers I know some chicks that would. I know some dudes that would. Because it's a nice unit. They'd be like, I don't care what nobody say. But yeah, it's just because I got to pull up like, the actual band. Like, the adjustable strap is right here. So, because the way I parted it, it wasn't where any of the lace was. It was just where the band was. So, other than that, that's the only kind of thing I don't like. But whatever. It is what it is. It is a nice unit. It's really nice. My other wig that I have, the Chloe one, I think I'm going to cut that one into this exact same style, but probably just a little bit straighter, not with this, just like an asymmetrical straight. So if you guys want to see that, thumbs this video up or put it at the bottom that you want to see that because I'll probably like do a like an entire sped up video of me cutting it, styling it, and all of that from top to bottom because that wig is just really sitting with no purpose at this particular point because I don't love it. But maybe if I cut some of the ombre off and kind of put an angle on it, I might actually like it. So, hmm, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you to RPG Show for this beautiful hair. And thank you to you guys on Instagram who love this hair so much. Uh, I was shocked that people were like, people were texting me like, keep the bob. If it's you, keep it. And I'm just like, uh, no. Because I already got some 30 inch hair from um, D Hair Boutique that I am ready to rock. So, yeah, but it was fun though, and I do like it. So, um, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.